Welcome to Cellmac Machinery's Knowledge Base. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to program the new ESA 630 Touch. First today we need to teach you how to program in numerical first. Uh, a new program. We go into um, editor here and we press new program. We cancel the changes from the last job and we select with the dot and confirm that we want new numerical. If you know how many pieces there is to be done, you put the number in here, say 100. Measures, 0 is for external, 1 is for internal. We'll go with 1 today. The width of the job, 300 mil. The thickness of the material to be folded, 1.2. The resistance of the material, mild steel, 45. If you forget, it does tell you on the screen, stainless, mild and aluminium. We now need to uh, pick which bottom tool. We're going to use a 16mm V and then we insert this. We're going to choose a punch choosing a 1010 and inserting it. You want to choose an angle, 90 degrees, the back gauge size, 25. Okay. R is automatically worked out by the computer to its correct height for that fold. And basically we are now ready to run. I check the material with my protractor and from what I can see the material is at least two degrees under bent. I can go back into editor, place on the correction there minus two degrees or I can go into corrections and do it by bend, by section or by piece. I prefer to do it this way. I press semi-automatic I press start. And then I refold and check again. Okay, so now we'll switch the pump off, make things a bit easier to listen to. We go back to editor and if I need uh, to put more bends, basically I hit the right arrow, I want another 90 degree bend, let's make the next one 50, and from that I can do four folds or two folds, I can add a repeat in each fold, so if I go back to bend one, repeat twice, okay, I go to bend two, and repeat twice. I do four bends, make a panel, no problem. Okay, let's teach now what other functions can be added into the machine from the control. Once you've programmed the job, as we have done now, you can decide in bend one, for instance, the top dead center doesn't need to come up to 222, you can tell it to come to 50, so the beam will only come up 50 mil. The force was automatically calculated, if you find on some thicker materials you need more force, it can be added here in small graduates. Crowning also is automatically worked out by the computer. The crowning again, if you feel you need more or less, can be added here or can be added here to get the perfect straight fold. CST, with the new 630, it does tell you every time you go into anything exactly what it's for and explains how to program it. So in the CST, if we program two folds and the last fold was going to come back in and crash into the job before you could remove it, we would program a 99 figure. Once a 99 figure is programmed in there and you get to that fold and it's done the fold, 
the beam or the back gauge will not come in until you hit the foot pedal and you decide when you want it in. Or you can program a one second, five second delay once you become more familiar with the machine. Pinch point. This has two uses. The first one, when we program a retract, the beam comes down, pinches the material, and it goes out to a retract distance. Let's say we want it to go out 200 mil. If it doesn't pinch correctly, you can plus and minus in the pinch to get it to pinch perfectly so the material doesn't shove back once the, beat, the back gauge starts to move. Mute. This basically, um, a standard, is about 30 mil, 25, 30 mil. If you require a 50 mil or an 80 mil mute, this will be programmed here. Bend time. When you're bending mild steel, 1.2, you know you can leave it at zero or 0 0.1, something like this. When you're bending five and six mil stainless, there's a lot of stress in the steel and you need to remove these stresses by leaving it in the bend much longer. So you could add two, maybe three seconds. What you'll find is if the job doesn't repeat, you need to bend with more time at the bottom of the stroke. Match. This is the speed out of the bend. When you're folding something very long and very heavy, you can program to come in very slow into the bend and very slow out of the bend and program into the pinch point a 10 mil gap so that basically 10 mil away it will slow down, 10 mil out it will speed up. So it picks the work up as it folds it and puts the work back down. This is done with the match, so let's say 0.2 millimeters per second. Speed, again, you would set to a similar figure, and basically this will make the working much safer. I'll set it back to zero for now. We'll show you a bit later on this happening. This basically is numerical, and when we move on to graphical, you can come back to this page at any point to make any changes from the graphics because with graphics it usually works everything out for you top dead centers everything but if you feel you need a change in each bend you can come back to this page and change anything you like we have reset supports there's three positions on the back gauge that can be used and this will automatically redate on the machine once you press rest supports to the one that you require Okay, we also have uh, bumping and radius. This is to fold a piece of metal in a big radius by hitting it several times. This can be programmed here. If you need to fold and flatten, we call this Dutch bending. It's like creating a safe edge. This can be done here once the tooling has been programmed in. And if you want to save the job, this can be done here. You can do it in numbers or you can write the name itself. So basically that's a numerical, um, we'll now move on to how to program a graphical program and uh, see if we can put this into action. New program, new graphic, confirm, width of the job, 300, thickness, 1.2. Resistance 45, die 16 mil, insert, punch. There's only one program at the moment, so we'll insert this one. And internal or external measures. One is internal and zero is external. If you forget, remember it's also in there as well. We're going to go with one and press OK. This will bring up the drawing package. It 
asks for a first length there. Let's put 25. You'll see it's now highlighted the alpha, which is asking for an angle. This can be programmed by pressing one of the arrows in the direction you want to go, or you can actually program the degrees in there. So I'm going to go up. I'm going to press 50 mil. I'm going to press again the arrow. Angle. So basically this is the product we want to fold. We now ask the computer to calculate. And as we can see, the fact that it didn't say no solution found, it's obviously found a solution. If you want to see this solution, we press optimize, we press simulate, and as I press continue now, you'll see it fold the job. Eventually, we get to the end of the job, press confirm, fully automatic, and run. Okay, so that's how to program graphically. I'd like to run you through the screen so that you've got a bit more of an understanding. You must press editor, obviously, to program anything, whether you're doing it in numerical or graphic. The hand is manual and is basically used for referencing of the machine. The picture of the spanner, obviously, is semi-automatic and basically this is used to proof the bends, stopping them moving on to the next sequence. Once the sequences are proven, you can go into fully automatic and basically run the job and then press automatic and away you go. This is where all your saved jobs are kept. This is where the tooling is kept. You can add new dies, hit it again, you can add new punches, new types. It can be done by memory stick or you can program a complete new drawing. Corrections as we said earlier. Saving to memory stick is done here. Placing the memory stick, press save. You can also bring things from the memory stick with this, this pad as well. This one is to run through the sequence of the bends. This one is to save to memory. And this is one is for delete. And at any point that you forget what something is for. Obviously it does tell you in here, but by pressing here you can see it as well. So if you do forget any of the programming, the, comp the program itself does tell you how to do it. And that's basically the ESA 630 Touch.